Hey, what's up everybody? Marcus here with nextlevelrecording.com. Thanks for checking out this video. Today I wanna just show you how I typically have my sessions set up and, and what my workflow is with, with routing things in Pro Tools. Um, just for simplicity's sake, I, I made these all bright colors. I don't typically color all of my instruments one color, but just to separate things out, uh, that's what I did. So I typically only have about six things that I need to set up for a session. I have my instruments. I have my subgroups, I have my reverbs or delays, I have my all subs, I have my two mix or master fader, and I have my print track. That is it. In every single session, it's exactly the same, so I know where things are at at all times, no matter what session I'm working on. So, for instance, my drums are right here, and these are being routed to my drums subgroup, my guitars are being routed to guitars my piano is being routed to keys my background vocals including the lead double is being routed to backgrounds or bgvs and my lead vox is being routed to the lead box now at the top you see this area that says sends these are another way to send your audio to somewhere else in the mix so uh, for instance, my snare drum is being sent to my plate reverb. Uh, the acoustic and the electric are being sent to the room reverb. And the electric is being sent to a 16-note delay. My piano is being sent to a hall reverb. And my background vocals are being sent to a room verb. And the lead vocals are being sent to a plate reverb, a half-note delay, and a 16th-note delay. Now, essentially, these subgroups... And these effects are being routed to my all subs. My drums are being uh, routed to all drums. My guitars and my bass guitar over here is being routed to all music. That also includes my piano um, and any other element that you have in the mix, strings or, or whatnot. That will all go to all music. Um, all my reverbs and delays and effects are going to all effects. And all of my vocals, including background vocals, are going to all Vox. Now, these all subs are essentially volume knobs for, for your drums or your music or for the entire mix. This is essentially your entire mix that is being fed to your master fader. So if you think your song has too many effects in it, you can simply just turn down your effects or you can turn up your vocals, all of them. Um, if you think the music isn't loud enough, such as guitars, you can turn them up or you can turn them down or you can just straight up turn down the entire mix if your master fader is being overloaded. You can just turn it down so you go have some more headroom before you send it to mastering. Now, my two mix is being routed to my print track. So your print track is basically the track that you record your entire mix on. I always have it in record enable. Um when I'm mixing just because I'm not recording anything. So when I'm done, I can simply go to the beginning of the session and press record and my mix will be printed. That is literally how I set up every single session. Like I said, it's the same every single time I get in a routine and I know where everything is at all times. It's organized and I don't have to hunt and search for where elements are in my mix because I know where they are. That is literally it for this video. Just wanted to give you a quick run through of how I set up my sessions. But uh, please visit our website, nextlevelrecording.com. Feel free to, free to subscribe if uh, you enjoyed this video. And please leave some comments to show uh, any techniques you're using or, or how you're setting up your sessions. And until next time, I will catch you later. See ya.